Do you want to heal the shit out of your group members and deny the fuck out of the enemy grenades or other forms of status effects? You've come to the right video. In today's video, I'm showing you our version of the classified reclaimer healer build, which is probably the best healer build currently in 1.8. The build is split up into three parts, gear, weapons and skills and talents and in that order I will talk about it. Before starting, two things, one for those who don't have the time to check out this video or don't want to go back to see how to make this build every time, I've left a link to screenshot of the build in the description. Two, I'm not going into every little detail in this video as they can be seen on screen and in the pictures in the description. With that out of the way, leave your questions till the end of the video, grab your popcorn and let's go over this build. The gear is of course the most comprehensive part of this build. The simple thing is that you want 6 classified pieces of your reclaimer gear. Having less than 6 classified pieces puts you at a disadvantage because you won't get the 5 and 6 piece talents, which improve this build quite drastically. The armor roll speaks for itself, on screen you can see the maximum rolls for each of the gear pieces. Of course these can be optimized through the optimization station, so don't worry if you don't get the ideal roll immediately. The main stats are always the important part of the build and you have to be smart with these in terms of unlocking gear bonuses or weapon talents. For this build you want to roll electronics on every gear piece with a maximum of 1401. The holster is of course an exception as it can roll all three main sets at their maximum anyway. The major attributes come down to health, skill power and skill haste and where there is an open slot you might as well roll critical hit chance as this will combine well with one of the weapons I will show you later. Also assault rifle damage is recommended on the gloves as we won't use any other weapon class. The minor attributes matter less, but you generally want to roll ammo capacity instead of XP. And of course the status affects resistances in this order. Burn, shock and disorient. These aren't really important, because, spoiler alert, we're going to use the support station which immunizes you anyway. It's just nice to have in case you don't have the support station up. On the right you can see the reclaimer bonuses for each set bonus, from the 2 to the 6 piece. They mostly speak for themselves, so I'm not gonna go over that, except for the last one. The improved reclaimer talent as part of the 6 piece bonus is quite interesting. It gives a base 40% chance to have no cooldown triggered when an enemy destroys it, and this chance is increased by 20% for every 3000 electronics, and since with this build we have over 9000 electronics, it means we can have a 100% uptime of the support station as long as it gets destroyed by enemies. Sadly, this kind of negates the support station master mod, which allows you to blow up the station and every teammate in it, including yourself, will receive an overheal. So that, that's a tactical decision you have to make depending on the situation. Let the support station get killed or blow it up yourself. Moving on, the cherries on top of this build are of course the gear mods. The prototype mod should include skill power with health roll. Uh, you don't have to roll all five of them as skill power of course, it might also be wise to go for a few firearm rolls, depending on what you want with the build. Performance mods have got to be the support station healing speed, alternatively if you want your unit to be huge. You could go for the support station range mods and it will be absolutely huge, I promise you that. Uh, me however, I'm going for the healing speed to heal up my boys very quick. The weapons are fairly straightforward though. The primary weapon I chose is the lightweight M4 because DPS wise it's currently about the best in the game. The weapon talents are twofold, partially increasing damage and partially increasing skill power. Hence why we chose competent, talented and brutal in the free slot, on the M4 that is. However, this is our DPS weapon. The secondary weapon is the Caduceus because of its exotic weapon talent. It heals you and your teammates uh, for 1% of your skill power and it 
It allows this every 0.2 seconds. The other two weapon talents are meant to increase the healing output as well through Adept, which increases your chance of landing a critical hit and Talented increasing your skill power. The mods are basically the same except for the optic. The lightweight M4 has the VX1 scope to increase the headshot damage, mostly. And the Caduceus has the reflex sight to increase its critical hit chance. So to keep it simple for you guys, the M4 is for damage and Caduceus is for healing. We also have a sidearm which we won't be using really. We chose the Golden Rhino because it at least has a chance to stagger enemies through its exotic weapon talent. This might be useful for crowd control when enemies are rushing you, but you should really stick to your primary weapons. It's just that simple. And that brings us to the final part of this build, the skills and the talents. Let's start with the skills. The primary skill should be very obvious by now. Want to guess what it is? The support station. To give you an idea of what it can do, it heals fast as fuck, it revives any allies in it, it immunizes you and your teammates from status effects, it recovers any ammo as long as you're reloading within its radius, and it increases the skill haste for your allies. It does this through the effect of the three mods. Uh, as mentioned before, the master mod allows you to blow up the station and possibly overheal you and your teammates when you're at least standing in it. The first aid is the second skill I select because of very obvious reasons very helpful to burst heal either yourself or your group members. Uh, the selected mod is booster shot, though it heals less, it increases your damage and your damage resistance by 15%, which, I don't know, it just feels great. Alternatively, what I see a lot of people use and what I have used myself is the overdose mod. In terms of healing, this is the best mod, so I recommend this one for absolute healing power and the other one for a bit more diversity. Finally, the signature skill of choice is the recovery link, no doubt about that. This should be fairly straightforward. But besides the skills, the talents you select are important too, especially for a healer. We selected triage, critical save, combat medic and death by proxy. They generally speed up the cooldown on your skills, heal your teammates or in the case of combat medic, it allows you to heal your group members through the use of medkits, which it's just an, another tool to heal your teammates. And with the talents done, that wraps up the video. Of course, this is my version of the Classified Reclaimer Healer. If you feel the need to make adjustments, don't you fucking dare. Jokes, 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 jokes. Definitely make adjustments where you feel the need to, and you can even let us know if you have some great ideas for this build. I'll mention it one more time so you don't forget. In the description there is a link to screenshot of this build, which you can simply download, so you don't have to return to this video if you want to make this build. Thank you for watching, it is as always, appreciated. Before ending, I want to know one thing, uh, one thing only. What is your favorite build? And with that, I'm leaving you. Peace out.